What's up, you guys? It's Henry, aka Invest with Henry. Um, it's your boy coming back with another finance video. So, what I'm going to share with you is one of the best and underutilized strategies that will change how you look at the stock market and investing. And if you break past the point of fear and thinking that this is too complex for me and I can't do this, well, you can, and it'll really make a difference in how much you make during your investing career. I haven't seen much of the popular YouTubers discuss this, and I kind of think that that's because this topic is somewhat advanced. But the way I'll explain it to you will literally be the difference between being an average Joe and an unstoppable force when it comes to managing your money better. So if you give me a few minutes, I'll show you a strategy that's made me hundreds of dollars a month for doing something that is fun and exciting, and it's pretty much a win-win. This strategy can easily net you 5% returns per month in good months. Sitting on the couch doing practically nothing, you can eat your chips and guac, whatever you like eating, this strategy will work. Because I'll be honest, if you listen to what I'm about to tell you, even if you know nothing about stocks, I'll walk you through a basic, I mean basic example, and if you don't find some value in this, then go ahead and unsubscribe because I haven't done my job well. All right, so drop that iPhone and I'll make this a quickie. I'm gonna discuss what it means to sell a covered call option. Before you say, but Henry, easy for you to say, you have a finance degree and you worked at Goldman Sachs. I don't even know what selling a covered call means. Well, it's a strategy where you have your favorite stock and you decide to sell the chance if this stock goes up a lot, it becomes someone else's stock. So basically, you get paid right now, this very second, for selling the stock at a higher price and collecting money for doing that regardless of what happens to the stock. I will draw you a chart a 12 year old can understand so you can see an example. After the example, I'll discuss a good opportunity I see in the market right now. So what you should also know is that yes, there are some months I have lost some money but that's a part of the game, you know? There really isn't a get rich quick or passive income stream where you do nothing and you just expect the money to come to you. Passive income doesn't just happen and my strategy is as close as it gets to minimum work for money while you sleep. If you wanna watch a minute of this video and basically say, Henry, it's too hard, well, not after I walk you through this in all under 10 minutes in time. So are you guys ready to invest in yourself? Call options are contracts and just a bet a stock will go up. Here's what buying a call option looks like. This little chart just shows that when a stock price increases, you make profit on your investment. The benefit of having a call option is that they are usually very cheap in comparison to owning stock. Each call option also represents 100 shares. So you get to control 100 shares of stock for less money. In the case of Apple, we can control 100 shares of the stock, which would normally be worth about $32,000 for as little as $2.15 per share, or $215 total. This is a popular strategy, and in this example, since the option is only until June 19, 2020, let's take a closer look. In a simplified example, because I can't make you an options guru, which took me seven years in one video, this is what could happen on June 19th. Whoa, 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 what do you guys think you're doing? Were you just about to click off of my video? I told you I'm gonna promise you to draw a chart that's gonna make a whole lot more sense. All right, guys, so let's go into this. So you see here we have Apple, and currently I think it's about, what was it, $317, right? So this is what we're gonna do. You know how we said that the strike price is $340? That just means that that's the agreed upon price that you think Apple will go to. And remember, we said we're gonna pay about $2 per share. That means your total cost is the $340 plus $2 per share, or $342. And now, like I said, pretend that Apple goes to $350. So here we go, we have $350 minus the cost that we have here, which is 342, and we get $8, right? All right, so let's go into detail on what this means. So this was the $2 that we paid, right? Boom. And this is what we got out, $8. Now look how powerful options are. Okay, so here we have $8 is our gain. And what we put in is just this $2 right here. So I'm gonna put 
$2, um, let's say cost. So as you guys know, this isn't rocket science. Eight divided by two is four. And that means that you gained four times on your money. So let's go over another like kind of like mental exercise here, which just blows my mind sometimes about how much money you can make in the options market. So you turn $200 into $800, right? And just to make it look really nice, I'm gonna put some dollar signs. All right, so that's a four times gain. Now imagine putting in 20 grand and you know, it's like, you know, what is it? May 22nd and then June 19th, you have 80 grand. I mean, come on now. That is like a whole year's pay in some sense, $60,000 in just month, one month. And that is absolutely what is possible. Oh my goodness, I totally butchered that. Let me click Control Z and circle that one more time. And that is what is possible in the options market when it comes to buying calls. Now, stick through this video because what I'm gonna show you right now is the reason I actually don't buy options, but this is a great example of what could happen in the example that I just went over. And again, just to make things a little simple, Apple is at $317 currently, okay? And we were betting on the 340 call. That means at $340, this Apple, stock becomes yours and that's 100 shares worth and that is why you know this says two dollars and that says eight dollars but that's why i'm saying two hundred dollars goes into 800 because each call option represents 100 shares and this two dollars times 100 is 200 dollars. so that's how the math works out okay let's go back into the video right now if apple finishes at 350 dollars per share because your strike price was $340, you made $10 per share or $1,000 total. That means your investment of 200 bucks has been multiplied by a factor of five. That's crazy. Now, for the good part, for each buyer, there is always a seller. Have you ever bought a car from the air? I mean, would it be scary if cars just fell from the sky? I mean, that'd be pretty risky too. Yeah, we'd have a problem on our hands, but when someone buys a car, there is usually a dealership or a person selling that used car. Well, my friends, my strategy is selling these options to other people. Now, quick note here. Since options represent 100 shares, that does mean that this strategy is much more capital intensive than just buying calls for 200 bucks. In this case, you have to own 100 shares of the stock. Let's look at a chart and see what that looks like. All right, guys, so I'm going to go over an example of a payoff chart for a covered call position. So basically, I couldn't find exactly Apple's situation right now because, you know, it's very difficult to find a chart like this. But this is called a payoff chart. And in this example, it says 72 right here, but, you know, our Apple position is about 317. So the importance here is just to really see what happens with covered calls. It's not really important to see exactly every single cent and dollar. It's just more important to understand kind of the framework of how covered calls work. So basically, if you have a position in, you know, any stock really, um, you participate in the stock going up. Here, this dotted line is just our you know, stock. If it goes up, you go up with it. And if it goes down, you go down with it, right? So here's where the difference is with the covered call. When you sell a covered call, I said you make money right away, right? Where here, here's where, where it is. That money is represented right here. So you make you know, the $200, or now I think in the updated version of this video, it's $172. So $172 is pretty nice out of thin air right away. But what do you pay for it? Well, this is what happens. So as the stock goes up, you go up with it in the covered call situation, but you are capped. You are capped at a certain point um, when you sell that call. So in our example, we sold a 340 call and we would be capped at this point 340, okay? Um, but since we did collect $200, we do um, break even here at, you know, this would be $342 per share. So that's pretty nice because basically you collected $200 upfront and if Apple ends at, you know, $342, that's really cool. And if it ends at $338, that's really cool. And no matter what, you still collected that $200. And, you know, there is some risk. Let's say the stock does go down. So look, it's not really a risk because you own that stock anyways and you're gonna own that stock. So now, you know, it's the same risk pretty much, but it's even better because when you go down, let's say Apple goes down, um, you know, down $2,500 you lost, right? 
Well, in this example, you would still lose about the same, but the covered call actually gives you that buffer. So you see that $200 buffer sticks throughout the whole position. So during the whole time on the downside, you're up an extra $200. And on the upside, you're up an extra $200 up until the strike. And at that point, you stop participating in the stock because you know, you gave your rights away. You gave your rights away, which sounds really bad, but you gave your rights away to someone else to buy that stock from you, which was the reverse example that I showed you earlier in this video. So if you bought the call option, um, you actually, you know, are starting from this point and hoping that it goes up and you will participate with it. But what I like about this is a lot of option sellers usually end up making money because the stock is right here. And think about it. You make $200 in this whole area, in this whole area right here. If it goes up a little bit, here, 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 you're still making $200. If it goes up, you know, from 317 to 339, you know, you're up here and you still made your money no matter what. And on the downside, you've made money, you know, an extra $200. You haven't, you know, completely made money because the stock is down. But look, you were going to be down anyways. So what I'm saying here is that call options just help you make a little bit extra money on the downside and on the upside. But of course, um, the real risk is the opportunity cost that you miss out if the stock completely blows up and really goes high, which is, you know, totally possible. But think about it. Even if it blows up, you'll just kick yourself in the butt a little bit for missing out on making more money. But regardless, you've made money. You've made money this whole time. So you guys remember, this is educational information. And if you decide to trade, please make sure you do your own research. Just because I've been trading for about seven years doesn't mean that everything I touch and trade is going to magically work out. And that's because finance is about risk and reward. If I knew what was actually going to happen, I would have retired within a year of trading. So this isn't a get rich quick scheme or a quick get rich quick method or a video that's going to make you a millionaire overnight. But it's definitely a way to supplement your portfolio with income, which either results in you getting paid and holding a stock or you getting paid and selling a stock at a much higher price. So either way, you get paid. If you have further questions or comments, I'll do my best to respond to everyone in the comment section. So thanks a lot, guys, for watching. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll make sure to make a lot more of these videos.